how to download text effects and PSD mockups from Freepik and how to import them on your Photopea. Hello guys, this is Tons Graphics here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download PSD text effects and mockup on the Freepik using your smartphone. Okay, this tutorial was requested by King's Graphics Media. It's one of our favorite subscribers. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do well to like this video and then subscribe to the channel you can drop your own comments in the video below i will read in through your comments so without wasting much of your time let's jump straight into the video okay as you can see i'm here on my google chrome so the first thing to always do is to log into your google chrome and uh, you are going to click on the search bar for psd let's say psd Okay, let me just say free pick. Since we want to download from free pick, let's go straight to the point. Okay, let's uh, search for for what for free pick. So when you search for free pick, you allow it to load, and you will see this. So you just need to click here on free pick. Click on free free pick, and on free pick you you go to the search bar and you search. Let's say you want to download text effects first of all. So let's search for PSD. PSD simply means editable text effect. Okay, so let's say PSD text effects. And you click on the search bar. Okay, once you click on your search bar, we are going to have this interface. Okay, um, we are having all of these are uh, text effects. Okay. These are all text effects. So I want you to click here again on PSD. So click on PSD so that it can give us only editable text effects. So PSD simply means text effects. Okay. Um, so this is what we mean by that. But then I want to also show you something. Um, here, since we are using the free option, avoid to click on the text effects with the star icon the premium text effects okay so i can i can quickly uh you know click on this advice this one let's click on this one i think i love this one so i'm going to click on it and you will see the download option here this option is download by the top right click on download so it's downloading Let's wait for it to download. It's download and it's downloaded. So click on open. Now, once you click on open, for me, I have a file manager on my phone that can extract the mockup to a particular folder. Okay, uh, so you just want to click here now on file manager and you click just once. So it's going to extract. This is the text effect. We have the text effect JPJ and the PSD. So I just want to import all of them. Because I would love to to keep all of them. So you highlight the two, and once you highlight, you click on more. So you click on more, you get extract. Extract now. You go to main storage. So I'm going to search for a particular folder that has my text effect. So I'm going to click on this folder called font. I'm extracting it to it. Now I'm extracting it into font. It's just uh, the folder I like to extract it to. Otherwise, you can extract it to another folder of yours there are no problems with that okay you see that okay so guys so now we are going to download the next uh, mock-up that i want to show you and it's um, it's a banner mock-up a roll-up banner mock-up a funeral poster roll-up uh, banner mock-up so what's the keyword you must know the keyword to search on free pick so we are just going to search for psd um roll-up banner roll up banner mockup i think my keyboard is behaving funny I have banner mockup then you search okay so once you search you are going to see these uh, search results popping up uh, we can click on the the ones that are only free because we are using the free option 
So if you click on this one, you are not going to download if you are using free free version of PSD of uh, free pick. We're just going to work with the ones that don't have uh, somewhat that kind of this uh, icon. We're going to select the simple ones, okay? Um, let's search for a convenient one. So if you don't find, you can always go to the next page. So this is your next page option. You can click on next page and it will take you to the next page. So a lot of them here, a lot, just lots more. And this is, this is good, but it's for a square type of flyer. So one thing you must pay attention here when it comes to roll up banner mockups or flyer mockups is that the size of the mockup you choose should somewhat relate or be matching with the size of your design. You have to be very um, accurate in your comparison. Okay, so you have to be very, very much accurate. Well, I just want us to use this one as an example so I can show you. So this one, let's check if it is PSD. Okay, so click on it and let's check the description. right so um we have the download button and click on download so it's downloading also once it's done downloading just click on open then you click on the it's on file manager so i just click on just once for it to extract yeah it's psd of course it's psd and jpg so i'm just going to click here now i'm showing you another option for me, I'm just going to click here right now on this arrow. Okay, then I click to main storage so I can extract it and I go to what? To my, right now I'm going to change the, the folder where I'm sending this one. I'm going to send this on uh, high shoot. High shoot, this is just uh, an example of a folder. Okay, good. Now that we have Okay guys, so now that we are done downloading all of the mockups, let's first of all go and see it on our folder. So I'm going to take you to my folder. Okay, on my main storage, let's first of all check for the text effect. So you can see, this is the text effect that we downloaded. There are two of them. I have this one. This is the text effect we downloaded. And this is the PSD okay then let me show you also um on high shoot the flyer mockup so we have the banner mockup this is the banner mockup the jpj and of course this one is the psd now once you have all of these you just go back to your google chrome and you load on photo p so i'm going to search for photo p photo p photo p okay good so here i'm going to show you how to you know make use of the text effect the same procedure applies for the flyer mockup so you can just get it from there now once you lock on photo p what you are going to see is, is this option so just click on from computer and from computer we are going to go to that folder that has our mockup so i'm going to go to my folders I will go now to font and on font i want to look for that particular markup now this is where the trick is you have to import but the one click on the one that has this psd don't click on the one with jpg so you can see the text effect the name is advice text effect advice text effect so i'm basically going to click just on this one the one with psd psd means it's editable now if you go to the flyer markup as we saw earlier you also see this same option for psd and jpg so i'm expecting you to click on psd so click on psd and it's loading this depends on how fast your connection is if your connection is too fast 
it will load properly but if you have some issues with connection then it will take some time now it has loaded up and what we're going to do now um, is very simple we are going to see okay so once you open photo p and you import the text effect from your folder you are going to see this um, menu pop up pop top what you have to do now is to click on this other icon here where i'm highlighting you just click on it then you will see where they will say place your text effect here now when you see where they say place your text effect here you just need to click inside double tap twice on this okay double tap twice and you see this now once you double tap twice you are going to click now on the eye uh icon here to hide your text now one thing i must say is that at this point you must have already written the text you want to make a text effect on pixel app and stored on your storage now since you have already written that i did not show that part because it will make this video very long but you can just write any text and save it with a transparent background on pixel app i'm going to import one text that i saved in the same way so you are going to click now on what on file So click on file and what you're going to do now is going to take open and place so i'm going to go back to recent and i check for that particular text okay good so this is the text i wrote this text using pixel lab so i just wrote fire using pixel lab now you bring it and control it po position it to uh, the right angle or the good position that you want on photo p here now go back and click on file once you click on file you are going to see save as smart object so click on save as smart object then you wait for smart object to be updated once the tell you that smart object has been updated you are going to click here so I hope you know that these are the same. This is the same procedure you must respect for the flyer mockup. Okay. In case you wanted a flyer mockup for this, it means that you must have already designed your flyer on Pixel Lab. At the point where you are supposed to import your text, you go and import by what your flyer on that you design using Pixel Lab. So now you can see awesome our text effect has already been achieved. So this is it here now. As you can see, we have successfully attained this. Now, I want to save this without a background. How can I save it so that I can use it on my Pixel Lab projects? Okay, so I'm going to go back on what? On file. Click on file. So, once you click on file, you are going to see now as. Um, now, but before we go to file, I want you to come down here. Okay, um, we are here. Click on this. So, we are on this layer. Let me show you clearly. Click on this. Okay. Click here. So, um, on layer. Let's check if we can hide the background of the text. Uh, yeah, so this is the background. We're going to hide this background. So, just hide the background as you can see. So you see where I clicked for the background to show. I clicked on what? On editing. There is a small, just that the screen is too small. I can't really zoom in. But there is a small arrow button here that is pointing to that point. You click on, on it and all the editing options will show. So just click on it and you scroll down. Then you see background. When you see background, hide the background. So the eye icon that is here helps you to hide things or to unhide them. So let's see this. It's on hidden. Now the background is transparent. So I've already removed the background. But if you don't want to go this step, you can just save it and remove the background using Photo P. So I'm going to go to file and I'm going to search for what? Export as. I'm going to search for export as PNG. Then you wait. Export as PNG. Now once that is achieved, click on save and it's saved let's open it and see so now this is your text effect now how can you use this um well done already but let me just show you how you can use this 
on the pixel lab we are pixel lab project so let's search for pixel lab uh yeah so this is it i was using this other text effect last night i'm working on this flyer okay i downloaded this text effect also from pixel lab so i can hide this and bring in the new text effect so i'm just going to go to what to import let's check i'm going to import so this is it so what you're going to do is to crop out just the area with the text effect bring it here can you see that very awesome right good so like i said i'm working on this flyer i just want to it's a church flyer okay so this is basically how you can use your uh, android smartphone to download psd text effects from freepik and also to download um, psd roll up banner mockups from pixel app from uh, google chrome freepik and use it on the the photo fee website for you to achieve great mockups you can repeat the same a procedure that we have seen for the text effect on the your PSD uh, banner mockups or the uh, flyer mockups is still the same procedure. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comment section. The tutorial was requested by uh, King's uh, Graphics. I'm hoping to see you guys in our next tutorial. But until then, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless you.